What's up, people? This is Sifurian. Right now, we're going to be getting into episode 12 of series 5 of Sons of Anarchy. Two more episodes to go of this season, and we are done with it. And I think things are going to start really ramping up because we've got so much kind of going on at the moment. So last time, <laughs> King Horik <laughs> has now turned up. We don't know his name yet, so it's, it's I'm, I'm just probably going to call him King Horik for now. King Horik has turned up, and he's, he's literally... Uh, got it in for Otto, and and he followed Terra, so I, I really think it's got something to do with the nurse dying. Maybe he's um, the husband, a boyfriend or something. Obviously, he's got some type of connections or, or something with the prison because he went in first off as a prisoner, and then he came in as like a visitor or something. So I'm really kind of intrigued in seeing how he kind of fits into all of this now. Jax is also in the process of really setting up this whole big kind of plan to get the, well, well to have the Mayans continue to mule the, the drugs and get the Chinese now to supply the guns so Sam Crow can literally step back and walk away. Um, they had a vote. It's all gone in the play now, Jax. Things just need to be put into motion now. So I... I, I Knowing this show, obviously there's going to be some type of issue, some type of problem happening at some point. But as far as Juice, Juice came through and found the paperwork and the documents and everything. But at the last minute, like Clay, like Clay knew that he found them, so I guess Clay's moved them and put them somewhere else now. So Jax was like this close to having proof, this close to having proof that Clay was behind it all. Were then led on to Jax. Uh, chatting uh, Bobby and Chibs about, well, what, what, what technically a lot of skeletons came out the closet in, in the last episode. Jax told the whole table about Wico, like now everybody knows about it. But Jax has told Chibs and Bobby about his father and, and that Clay was behind that. They can kind of understand why Jax is so passionate about trying to, trying to take down Clay. Uh, but the episode ended with Bobby going to Clay, like, saying I'm here to kind of, like, keep you alive. So, I, I, I don't know what to make of that. I don't know if Bobby is, like, connected or, or what, but it's, uh, he hasn't really been agreeing with some of Jax's choices, so I, I don't know. I really don't know where this is going to go. Plus, there's also the whole situation with Pope, uh, because Jax is meant to hand over, uh, Tiggs to Pope at some point. Man, I really, I really don't know how this is going to play out. Like I said before, I really hope Jax has got like some big master plan and that everything, you know, kind of works out going into the future. Uh, fingers crossed, man. Okay, if you are interested in watching episode, well, the finale and episode one of series six, they should be up on my Patreon right now, including the full length for this whole season. And hopefully a big chunk of Series 6 should be up there as well. But yeah, for now, Episode 12. <sighs> Let's do this, man. Let's get this day locked down. It's going to be a big one. You got time yet from Galen? Two o'clock in the morning. Something we got to handle first. Bring Clay to the table. What are you talking about? You're going to admit what he did with the nomads. Then we decide what to do with him. What? what are you doing, Bobby? My job. Oh, man. I was lying in the hospital bed, thinking about all the shit I lost. I wasn't ready to let it go. Reached out to Frankie Diamonds. He was the one that suggested the home invasions. Figured we could rattle some of the folks close to the club, make it look like the MC was going to hurt Charming. And He's confessing to everything. I don't expect anyone to believe this. I ain't saying it. It wasn't because of my pride and my greed, because it was. The main reason I was trying to push out Jax because I didn't think he was ready to lead. It's cartel shit, the pressure with the Irish. I didn't think he could handle it. Wow. I was wrong. He's proven to be a better leader than I ever was. That's why Bobby went to him last night, well, like the night before, right? Talked to him and told him to confess. All in favor of Clay losing his patch. <sighs> yay. 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 Really? Wow. Just like that. As far as the mayhem goes, let's hear pros and cons. Is it real? I ain't buying this. I'll go for the good of the club bullshit. He's done. 
All in favor of Clay Morrow meeting Mr. Mayhem. What? Yay. Yeah. Yeah. He's got to, any. Yeah. Yay. Yeah. No. Do it. I was just going to say, that's why Bobby went to him the night before. He made a deal. If you confess, you'll lose your patch, but I'll keep you alive. But yeah, because that's what he said. I'm here to keep you alive. Because he's not like it, like Clay, just any member of, of the club. He's one of the original, you know what I mean? You made a deal with him behind my back. Like, even after I told you what he did to my father and everything, like... If I didn't make this deal, you would have killed him as soon as we were finished with Galen. And you would have done it behind the club's back. Do that once. Next time, this becomes a little easier. Before you know it, this thing that we have is pointless. Hmm. I'll stop you from becoming the guy that you wanted to kill. Wow. You think this vote protects Clay? I know you see it as betrayal. I took that risk because I love you. And this club needs you. We're broken. I've had a hard time feeling any love for Brotherhood since Opie died. Just lost your way a bit, brother. Mm. Well, I found it. Finally. Opie was right. The devil corrupts. You can't sit in this chair without being a savage. You want me to move it in comfortable, cozy circles, and I can't do that. You should go. I could understand it from Bobby's kind of standpoint. He was doing the right thing, and ultimately it is, because Kay can't say stand at that table after everything, he can't. But he, he does deserve to die. But not yet, of course, it's like, we, we, we still got a lot of this show to go through, so I can't see Clay going anywhere anytime soon. Shit. <laughs> wow. Wow. Because he's out now, ain't he? You were in the infirmary three days before Pamela Torek was murdered. You saw Delaney in all three of those days. Yes, I treated him. First for staph, then I did tests for meningitis. You know, out of the blood work showed no signs of either ailment. My client responded to the patient's symptomatic condition. Of course. Were you aware that bringing anything to a prisoner is a direct violation of the agreement you signed? I didn't study the contract, so no, I wasn't aware of that specifically. So you thought it was okay to bring a violent felon, something he could use as a weapon? Dr. Knowles brought a desperate man something to pray with. He was in restraints when she put the crucifix around his neck. Yes, it was naive, but she had no idea what he would do. That true, Doctor? Yes. I had no idea what he was capable of. Mm-hmm. That is true, like she didn't know what he was gonna fucking do. <laughs> Shit. Can I ask you advice on something? Of course. You make big decisions every day take advice from people you trust. You ever choose to go against that? It's about Clay Morrow. Club voted to take his patch. I want to take more. Shit. Democracy's overrated. Revenge is never about the greater good. It's a visceral need that has to be satisfied or the strong lose focus. How do I scratch that visceral itch? You just have to step away from the need to feel it. Come at it from a different angle, different source. It's not about the process, it's about the result. Payback by proxy. Something like that. And now I'm gonna need some results, Jax. Play is out, Trigger served his purpose. I gotta finish this deal with Lynn and the Irish. I'll deliver him tomorrow. You just tell me when and where. Good, because if you break this promise, everything else goes away. And my agreement not to crush your club. Tig is Clay's right hand. I'll never see him as anything else. Really? Like, ah. 
So fingers crossed, man. <laughs> fingers crossed Jax has got a plan. <laughs> Ten cornets, 100 missiles, two dozen Brownings, two dozen KSVs with quick-release silencers. We'll want drops every two weeks. Mayans MC will handle the transport. Just let us know the balance. Absolutely. Looking forward to doing business with you. You should. We're going to make you rich. Lindo's getting pushed on two fronts by Lobo Sonora. We just lost to Batama. We can't wait three months for them cornets. We're gonna need another shipment of our PGs from the Irish before we kill that tie. Wow. Well, let's get let the pickup. Don't ask him. Tell him. Clay's out now, already. And the IRA ain't gonna wanna work with uh, Jax now, like. There's an offer on the table from Providence Hospital. Jax okay with that? We're still figuring it out. But I've been dealing with the paperwork around all of that, and I I just realized that if anything happens to me or to Jax, there's nobody I trust to take care of my boys. Oh, shit. Kind of like the smartest choice. Plus, when they, like, she's clean now and everything, she's trying to sort her life out. So it's, it makes sense. Just, wow, okay. <laughs> First clear. He turned in his patch. He's out of that law. Look, Galen, I know you blame me for Kellan's death. And you're right. Events in Belfast spun out of control. I just want to say, I liked the priest. He loved my dad. He sacrificed himself for my son. I know that. After a little dust up, I was hoping that might ease some of this tension. You hate the Mexicans. So do we. Romeo wants this shipment one more. We give him that and we're done. MC and the IRA can go back to business as usual. Hey. What is this? Talk to Damon Pope. Heard all about Clay. Thought we should come by and make sure the deal was moving forward. I told you. <sighs> Put the guns in the truck. Don't touch the bloody guns. We all want the same. It was all going so well. Fuck, man. See, even though Bobby did the right thing by going to Clay, like, there's there's repercussions, you know what I mean? Like, it's... This is a new boy. Sons is gonna feel this in both continents. <sighs> this close to, like, having fucking... All because Clay weren't there to, like, arrange a deal. You're with Clay? Yeah. Helping him collect his shit. Listen closely. Triple Two started running dog fights. Warehouse on Palm. Started collecting too. That's um. Moved into Front Street. Quadros Liquors, Beauty Supply, Lana's place. Oh God, what's his name? He plays fucking guitar, right? Fucking name just gone blank. What you said last night. You meant that. Yeah. Okay with you. Hey, sorry. Tink just called. Once it's all at the clubhouse, something went down with the Irish. <laughs> oh, fucking hell, another day. <laughs> Pine give it to me for my five year. I always thought I'd give it to Ope. No, Clay, I Come can't. On, I gotta get rid of it. Hey. Shit went south with Galen. We're in lockdown. Oh, Christ. Gadgets. You too. No, oh, no. Jax don't want me. I don't give a there. shit about that. You ain't safe here alone. Let's go. Wow. Okay. Hey, they keep showing that. Like, what's what's the importance with the gun? Can I help you? I'm sorry. How did you get in here? A guy in a white lab coat said I could wait for you. Lee Torek. Pamela, the nurse that was murdered. She was my sister. Oh, okay, brother and sister. Not husband or anything, okay. Do you know why the inmate attacked her? Were they arguing? I don't really know. I just came in as it happened. He was your patient? Yes. This was the third time you were treating him, right? I think so. How well did you know him? I didn't really. 
What about your husband? Did he know him? Who are you? I already told you. I'm the guy who just lost his little sister. U.S. Marshal. Oh, okay. I had no idea what he was going to do with that crucifix. I believe you. But I also believe to my niece and nephew who grew up with a mother. You can hold on to that card. It's obsolete. I'm still looking for a new job. Okay, so his ex marshal So that's how he's got connections and everything. Like, okay. I didn't catch his name, but I guess King Horik is going to be a problem, yeah? <laughs> that was brutal today. I know. Not the way I wanted it to go. Sit down, please. What? You okay? Get me the hell out of here. All right, Tig's out by my car. I'll be right there. Sorry I had to come to this. Yeah, me too. There'll be repercussions. No trust. Could be the end of an era. I'm gonna put together a crew, run them independent. We'll get the MC in Belfast. I'm sure I can pick up the lion's share of all of Sam Crow's business. Wow. I may need to lay low for a minute, brother. I was hoping to catch a cargo ride back to Belfast. Rig group there. What? Meet me here tomorrow, half four. I have a chart to leave an autumn in the scene. Give you a lift. I'm hoping to bring Gemma. So long as she doesn't pack like my wife, there'll be room. Wow. So not only is he trying to go into business for himself now, he's, he's going to be leaving with Gemma? Because that's what he was talking to uh, Tiggs about, was like, coming in on, on his business thing. That offer I made you the other day. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna work with the Irish. No politics, no beefs, just money. Think about it. It's my way of starting to make up for all the damage. See, I, 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 I really hope he doesn't entertain the, the idea, you know. But them two have been cl so close for so many years. I could see it happening. You know, I wanted to do this the right way. Sane and sober. But clearly, whatever is going on around here is beyond sanity. And I've got the proof. Abel being kidnapped. The shit that happened to me today, I'm going to report it. And then, I'm coming after my son. Oh, shit. So that's going to be like another headache for next season, yeah? <laughs> Time to earn your rent, Chief. You find out everything you can. U.S. Marshal. Anything I should know? Otto just killed his sister. Take it. Hold on. You ready? I'll sit up. Okay, what, what? What's going on? We need to talk this shit out. I'm sure you're the right thing. We'll settle in. But today, if I get you a long VP, I'm gonna tear your goddamn head off. See, I, I get it. Like, Bobby... Bobby did the right thing ultimately, but it's just things have just snowballed, and they <laughs> Jesus. You never asked me why I lost the patch. I guess I didn't want to know. Why is she still going to him now then? If if originals, if they've got the proof, you know he's ad admitting to what he would do, what, like. I thought I wanted the club back and yeah, money. I was wrong. The only thing I lost that matters is you, Jim. You're the only thing I want back. I don't know what to say to that. Listen, Jax is gonna kill me if I stay in Charming right now, so I made a deal with Galen to pick up some of the gun slack left by the club. You're gonna give me safe haven in Belfast. Come with me. When are you going? Tomorrow afternoon. Galen's got a charter jet outside of Mendocino. I'll think about it. Really? She gonna tell Jax that he's planning to uh, get out of there? I'll sleep at my place tonight. The ankle rolling your sheets.
this time is different. Oh, they're gonna patch over his uh, his ink. That's why he said the ink would, would ruin your sheets. Okay. I was thinking like what? <laughs> okay, I get it. Yeah, he's out now, ain't he? Been patched out and shit. And he's inked up as well. He's got it everywhere. He's got that big one on his arm there. Like, fuck, man. You got a visitor. Gemma. Fuck. Praying that she don't get locked away. Oh shit. King Horwick means fucking business, doesn't he? Shit. It's blood. Nice. Why are you doing this? Keeping life beautiful. What? What are you doing here? I'm sorry. Can we talk? Please. Is your partner? It's in Frisco, with a mom. Shit. Mom, I call you rehab. You work. I tell him you showed up at my kid's daycare. Out of your mind. Babbling about him being kidnapped by the IRA. You want to tell him? You are high as shit. And I am afraid you are a danger to my oh. child. Oh. And I demand a drug test. No. What? Oh my god, that's so fucked up. You don't have her. Threaten my family again. That's actually really fucked up. Wow, I really don't agree with that. That's really fucked up. I I can understand where he's coming from. And, and his reasons and his motives for doing that. I get it. But come on, man. Really? Isn't there no other option? You stick her with some shit and, and you're going to try and get her, like, tested now to show her that, that she's still a junkie? Like, that's so fucked up, man. Some of the choices Jax has made this, this season, I, I really, really don't agree with. But then at the same time, it's like you can understand the fucking motives. You can understand why he's doing it. It's why I love this show, because the characters are written so well. Like, it's... See, like, most shows... Not most shows, but generally, you, you, you kind of have, like, your, your good guys and bad guys, and it's clean cut. But a lot of characters in this show, they live in that kind of grey area where nobody's really perfect. Everyone's got flaws. Everybody fucks up. Uh, Gemma is a perfect kind of example. Um, you can understand characters' motives, even if you don't agree with what they do. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, like with Bobby, I understand his motives. I understand why he brought it to the table and, and got Clay to confess. He's lost his patch, but yet he also spared his life. I get that, but then there's also repercussions. You know what I mean? And we've seen that snowball this episode. Um, but I can also see why Jax was so angry was because, like you, you, like, you went ahead and did this after I told you what he did to my father. You know what I mean? It's, it's, well, I don't think Bobby should have took it to the table, but I understand why he did it. You know what I mean? This show is just written so well. It really is. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay, so, Clay is out the club um, officially now. Even though he's out, I can still see him being a main character in the show. I, I don't think they'll start pushing him out and, and push him to one side. Like how when shit went bedding up with Galen, that they brought him in. He was in the clubhouse and, and everything. Like like how I said that um, when Jax took over 
and and Clay sat at the other end of the table. I said he's still going to be dangerous from that end. He's still going to be dangerous from that seat. Could he be more dangerous now that he's not in the club? He's on the outside. Like we've seen him already now try and work out some deal and everything for him to still be running guns and everything and making money outside of the club. I think he might convince Tiggs to join him and because them two have got history together despite all the bullshit. Uh, Tiggs might kind of look at it like, you fucked up. My daughter died because of your lies and your bullshit. Um, but, I don't know, as, as I'm saying it out loud, I don't think Tiggs would do it. But, because of their history, because they have been t- like so close for so many years, I don't know, he, he might kind of look at it like, well, you've already paid your dues, you, you know, you've been kicked out of the club. Plus the money as well, when Jax was talking about how they're going to like have a pay cut, like they're going to feed it for a long time, it cut to fucking Tiggs for a while. You know what I mean? So I, I don't know if that's kind of saying that possibly at some point Tiggs is going to join Clay with the whole guns and everything and that could upset the club that Tiggs is still running guns and everything with Clay. That's if it even gets to that point because there's still the whole situation with Pope. What I really hope, I keep saying it, big plan, big master plan, come on. Uh, with it being the finale now, now like, it need, there needs to be something. I've said it before, but, like, how Jax handled the ATF bitch with that whole situation, I kind of hope we get something similar. But then there's also King Horik. I, I will, f- well, I probably won't for the next episode. But I will find out his name. I've got a feeling this actor is going to be in the, like the next season. Because he is such a big actor. And he's so good. I, I, I can kind of see him being kind of like a main going into next season. And this whole now drama with with, with Terra and, and the guy's sister and everything. So I, I, I can really see that playing out. Um, because he sat there with guns and shit. So obviously he's not... Obviously, he's not going to try and go down like the legal road. He might actually just want some straight up revenge. I can see that being next season. I don't know. It all kind of depends on how the finale plays out next, I guess. Oh, um, to kind of go back onto uh, Clay, why is Gemma still putting up the act that them two are still together? As soon as Clay was out, Gemma should have been like, okay, well, I don't need to fucking suck up to him anymore. I don't need to be with him anymore. Like, fucking done you know what I mean but she hasn't she's still coming across as being caring and kind of loving even though like you can tell like the way that the actress is playing it like you can tell like like she's really trying hard to be close to Clay um that's why I th- I think Clay might pick up on it but like, why is she still around him unless there's more to it like like when Jax went into the room and he like asked her to sit down and it just cut away that could be leading on to something else I really don't know. I don't know what Jax has planned. Um, <laughs> but I've gotten so used to the writing now with this show. There's there's, there's something. There is definitely something set up with it being the finale that there's going to be some big set up something. Like, come on. Jax and his master plans. We can't hand over Tiggs. <laughs> we can't do it. But I'm going to be getting into the next episode right now. I'm probably going to have a little bit of a food break. I'm starving but we're gonna get into this but yeah if you're interested in watching the finale and episode one for series six they are up on my patreon right now including hopefully the vast majority of series six because I'm gonna try and get a lot of series six film next week so there's content ready to go but yeah if you want to watch the full length they should be up on my patreon right now but yeah man give this video a thumb up if you like it Comment down below, let me know what you think, and subscribe if you haven't already, man, alright? I've been Sifurian, and I'll catch you in the next one, man. Yeah.